Welcome to Budget Friendly Nutrition. Join me today in making this triple root vegetable soup, a spin-off of the classic potato leek soup. We'll use produce from our mobile produce pantry, which can also be purchased using CalFresh. Our ingredients today include three leeks, two carrots, two stalks of celery, four or five small potatoes, one large parsnip, two small rutabaga, a couple bay leaves, some thyme, rosemary, and parsley for seasoning, and about five cups of vegetable or meat stock. First things first, we're gonna prep all of our veggies before we get cooking. To prep your leeks, go ahead and trim off the roots as well as the dark green tops. Be sure to wash those and save them for making vegetable stock later. Our recipe video for making veggie scrap broth is linked below. Now you can slice the leeks lengthwise, exposing all of the layers. I like to use a bowl of water to dip the leaves in and wash off any visible dirt. If you have children at home, this is a great task to have them take on. Go ahead and wash all of the other vegetables and herbs. Now we will peel all of our roots. Start off by peeling your carrots and trimming the ends. Go ahead and peel your rutabagas. You could use a vegetable peeler or a paring knife for this. Now if you have an odd shaped parsnip like I do, go ahead and cut off any odd shaped pieces before peeling, which might make it a little bit easier. Make sure to save all those pieces for broth. Now you can peel the potatoes. I set aside some of the potato, parsnip, and rutabaga peels to make a quick, crispy topping for the soup, which I'll demonstrate at the end of the video. Now you can give the leeks a rough chop. We've had an abundance of local leeks this year, and if you've never tasted leeks before, they are like a less pungent onion, and they serve as an incredibly flavorful base for soup. If you don't have three large leeks, that's all right. You can swap them out for one large onion or a couple of small ones. I prefer smaller pieces of celery in my soup. So after trimming the ends off, I'll prep this by slicing lengthwise to make thin strips before chopping into smaller pieces. For the carrots, I'm doing the same thing, cutting lengthwise before chopping. You want the pieces of carrot to all be about the same size. This way they will cook evenly. Onto the parsnip. Cut off the top and then do your best to chop this into somewhat even sized bite sized chunks. It can be difficult to get similar sizes with such a wonky shaped vegetable, but do your best and know that it does not need to be perfect. Now onto the rutabaga. Chop those into the same size as the parsnips. All of these root vegetables will cook at about the same rate, so we want them to be in similar size chunks. And for the potatoes, go ahead and chop those into bite-sized pieces as well. You can place all the root veggies together and set those aside for now. Now onto preparing our fresh herbs. 
For herbs with a tough stem, like thyme or rosemary, I like to hold the top of the stem and use my other hand to strip the leaves off the stem, opposite the direction of their growth. If small pieces of the stem break off, that's okay. Usually the parts that are tender enough to break are also tender enough to eat. I'm just using my fingers to break up the herbs into smaller pieces. You could also use a knife to chop them finely. Make sure you save your herb stems for broth. And for the fresh parsley, you can go ahead and chop the whole thing, the stem and the leaf, and then set aside all your herbs for later. Now over medium high heat, warm up a big pot Add in some fat of your choice. I'm using a drizzle of olive oil and some butter for flavor. Add in your leeks with a sprinkle of salt and cook down for about 10 minutes, stirring occasionally to scrape up any of the brown bits that may be developing at the bottom of the pot. As you can see, I'm using my spoon and the steam coming off of the leeks to help loosen these bits. If you're having a hard time with this, just add a small splash of broth and it will make this process a little bit easier. Do your best to get all of these brown bits mixed into the leeks because if they remain on the bottom of the pan, they will burn and add a bitter taste to the soup. But if you get them scraped up, they're going to add such a nice rich flavor. Now add in your carrots, your celery, your herbs, and another pinch of salt. Add your root vegetables to the pot and then your stock. Stir well and cover the pot. Bring the soup to a boil, then simmer for about 30 minutes or until the root vegetables are fork tender. Remove the bay leaves and discard. I like a creamy soup with some texture, so I removed about half of the soup, blended it, and then poured it back in. You could also use a potato masher or an immersion blender to get a similar consistency. Now is your chance to give the soup a taste and adjust the seasonings if desired. I'm amazed at how silky smooth and flavorful this soup turned out. For the crispy topping, fry the root vegetable peels in a shallow layer of oil on medium heat until golden and crispy. Drain on a paper towel and season with salt. Serve this savory root vegetable soup nice and warm and be sure to top with the crispy root veggie skins just before serving so they stay nice and crunchy. Enjoy!